Welcome back Morales to a new video in which we're gonna create a dApp that can give us all the NFT collections by a single creator. So I've inputted a wallet address right here and this wallet address, this creator has created six different NFTs on Aptos network. Now in this case they correlate to each other but you can see right here we have sweet friends nose, sweet friends ear, uh, sweet friends, sweet friends mouth, uh, eye and tail and we can see total 3333 of each and we can see the latest transactions right here and it's on different dates now this is very handy if you want to display different nfts from the same creator and just have a list of what they have created and make sure you track that we're gonna use the endpoint that morales provides us this one right here the get nft collections by creator and it's gonna make things very easy for us now if you want to Take a look at how we can build this together. Stay tuned and I will show you how. Hey, I'm Joseph, your Web3 instructor from Sweden. I've been into crypto since 2017 and have been building in the space since 2021. In my free time, I enjoy playing paddle, going to the gym or hanging out with my dog. I always try to enjoy some good pancakes, but that's for another time. Now let's get back to the video. First things first, we're gonna need our Morales API key to make these requests. So you're gonna have to have a Morales account. Now we have a starter plan, which is for free and it's basic, it's good to get started. But if you're serious about building within the Web3 space, and if you want to take your dApps to the next level, make sure you sign up for the pro account. It's gonna help you so much more. Once you've done that, log in and go to Web3 APIs. And from here, we can get our API key and make sure you keep this private and to yourself. Next, let's move on into Visual Studio Code where I have created my root folder, the Get Aptos NFT Collection by Creator. And as always, we have a backend and the frontend folder. Let's start with the backend and we're gonna have to install four dependencies node fetch, express.env, and course. Then we're gonna have a .env file where we add our API key. Let's jump into index.js file where we import all the dependencies and we set up our express server on port 5001 and we start listening to it right here at the bottom. We have imported our API key from the env file and we're using it in this options object which we later on gonna use inside this endpoint. So we're gonna do a get endpoint on slash get NFT collections and when we hit this endpoint, we're gonna do a request to this endpoint right here. And we're gonna add the address that we got from the front end client. And we can get that as a parameter from here and pass it along inside this URL. Then once we get the response back, we're gonna send it to the front end client with the status of 200. And if something goes wrong, we're gonna console log that error and send the status of 400 back to the front-end client. The front-end client is a Next.js application and we're gonna need to install a few dependencies here as well. We're gonna need Axios and web 3 uikit slash core. Our pages folder is basically untouched. We, the only thing we did is clean up the index.js file and only render our main component, which is the one we have created right here. And from here, we have imported use state, Axios, image, card, our CSS file, and then the Aptos and the Morales logo to display on the top left navigation bar. Then we are creating a few state variables. We have the wallet address, the result, show result, and collection image. We have two functions right here. First is the handle change, which we call when we start typing inside the input field. And when we do that, we set the state variable, the wallet address, by its set function and we're taking the value from the input field and we're storing it inside this variable right here. The second function is the handle submit which does a little bit more and we run this function when we hit the submit button. So the first thing we do is we empty the input field because we already have the data inside this variable right here that we stored. And then we do a, a request to the backend server using Axios on port 5001 slash get NFT collections passing along our wallet address. Then we have an empty array right here and we map through the response we got back and we want to get out the image of the NFT collection. That's the one we display right here. So how do we do that? First of all, you need to see how the response actually looks like. So if we go to the Morales documentation for the get the NFT collections by creator endpoint and we paste this creator address right here, we set the limit to 10 and then we can try this out from here. So once we do that, we're going to get the response back. And this looks very, very similar to the one we get. 
So this is within the results array and we can see all the collections right here. We have sweet friend's nose, sweet friend's ear. Uh, we have the mouth, sweet friend's, sweet friend's eye, and lastly the tail. So this is the six NFTs that this creator has created. And we can actually verify that in Topaz website, which is an Aptus Marketplace website. We can see that there are six of these collections right here. So what you will see in Visual Studio Code is that we map through this results array right here and we get all the data we want to display. We're doing another thing and that is another request to this URL right here, which is the metadata URI. And we're doing this to get the image to display for this NFT. And when you go to this link, this is what you see right here. Let me zoom in a bit so you can see it clearly. You have all the metadata, you have the image, the image URI, the maximum number, the name obviously, and you have some social media uh, content as well. And this is what we want to get to display the image, this right here. So back to our code, first of all, we can see that we set this result variable to response.data.result, which is the exact array we just looked at. But before we do that, we map through this results array and we get for every item in there, the metadata URI, and we do a request to that again using Axios. And from that response, we push data.image to this array right here. And once this is done, we push this whole array into the set collection image. And then we set show results to true. Now down here, where we render everything, we have the images, the Morales and the Aptos logo right here. We have the input field and the on change, which calls the handle change function. And then we have the handle submit function, which we run when you click this submit button right here. And once show result is true, we're gonna map through the result array for each and every item in there. We're gonna create this section that will contain the card, which on itself is a link to its metadata right here, which is pretty cool. You can easily check it out from here. And it also contains the image, of course, and some other data that we are um, displaying right here. And that's about it, guys. We don't need much more code than this. We don't need a bunch of files or anything like that. This is pretty straightforward. Using the Morales API, we can display this beautiful website right here. And let's try this out with another creator address. And we can see that this creator has only one NFT collection with a total of 4,000 and the latest transaction was in 2022. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video explaining and showing how you can get all the NFT collections by a single creator on Aptos Network using the very quick and easy Morales API. If you enjoyed this, make sure you smash the like button and I hope I will see you in the next video.